Okay. Yo, we are locked and loaded. Speed running Zeno. Okay. We Hell have yeah. Richter and Lucario. Now I want to see how this gonna match. This matchup is gonna go. I I want to say BB tried going hero against this uh this matchup last time. I cannot recall. Yeah, I'm actually quite curious why hero wasn't the pick. We see VB pull out heroes so often against these like really projectile heavy characters uh, just because he's able to get bounced so often. I think my my theory is um, Lucario has a much stronger recovery than Hero, except for when Hero yes. gets Zoom. But I mean, extreme speed is so tricky to deal with. And if he's able to start getting those angles around the holy fire that we see Melly throw out so often, then um, I think that's really going to give him an edge in this match. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you can see. Just like that, yeah. As you were saying, the cross coming back and hitting BB right when he's trying to recover. And, and we know, we, we already know, I talked about this before, Kirby was on stage Ooh. earlier. BB has a really good recovery factor, or the comeback factor with the uh, percentage buildup. But Melee has, of course, projectiles. And those are so important in this matchup as well. And that humongous destroy is gross. Whoa. But, I mean, I think what's interesting is we can see Melly already adapting to this out of the gate. In the two times that Vivi was off stage, uh, Melly threw the holy water at kind of weirder angles uh, to try and catch some of those more awkward extreme speed angles. Yeah, you, you, you might be seeing some extreme speed angles, but the thing about that is that, again, that cross can always come back and actually catch wherever he's going to land. And if Vivi clips the ledge, we have Holy Water to cover that, and if Vivi, if somehow Melly's able to catch it, that mm. axe, there it is. Holy, right. that was scary. Yeah, that time using the extreme speed to go high once again. Melly throwing the Holy Water at the ledge for the first time. Again, All right, yeah, oh, you're, not, yeah. you're not jumping over that. That's a little too big. It's a humongous aura sphere. That's scary. And look at that. 41% off of like three, four up airs. Oh Six, my nine percent. goodness! Can you come back? Can you come back? And you is going to be able to come back. Unfortunately, uh, Lucario doesn't have the best tools with which to catch a tether recovery. Uh, he doesn't have those like super long-lasting hitboxes. I guess yeah. maybe down air. This kind of, he, he might just be. It might just be better to respect it rather than try to combat it. That time, extreme speeding right into the holy water, and again, but uh, Vivi came into the holy water a little bit too high. Melly wasn't quite ready for it. And just getting the up air eventually. Yeah, Vivi was a little bit uncomfortable on the, the PSD platform. Oh, did we not it. learn? Did we not learn from last week? Just Here barely, comes that counter. yeah, mistiming the double team. Vivi's taking more percentage for it, extreme, trying to extreme speed around the holy fire, but finding a cross boomerang instead. Vivi's just been oppressed this game. I mean, you have three projectiles one coming right before you, one coming south, and one coming above you in an arch. That's almost, I, I can't, you can't even like really guess where it's going to go half the time. You have so many things coming at you, and you have this humongous whip also just reaching half the stage. You are unsafe no matter where you go. Extreme speed, fine, taking that, that, that second stock off of Melee, and BB's at 120%. Not, BB's not out of the game quite yet, but we do have two games to go, possibly. And here we go, like, oh, a whole okay. lot of percentage, and the humongous uh, punish dead? on the uppy, absolutely you, death. You just got F smashed at 49, and that's... You got F smashed at 49 because you wanted to uppy. Unfortunate, but true. Like, Emily, of course, is going to count on pick 2 PS2. We are banning uh, FD and TNC. All right, so let's see. That was such a good fade back by VV. It looked like VV was going to go in for maybe like a force palm or something to try and end that sequence, but instead they just faded back and yep. waited for Melly to dig his own grave. Melly definitely got to hold that. Had a really, really solid... Uh, Duration of the game was just you were just in the lead, absolutely. And if, you, if the the person that was really doing so much wonders for Melly, I mean, having that many uh, overwhelming objects at once on the stage really does just do a lot to like the, the mind and stretch so much. Uh oh, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I want to, see, I definitely want to see Melly not let that get to his head because, like you were saying, game one absolutely looked like Melly's game to win and. Vivi was just barely able to clutch it out with 
a, a clutch bait. I think it's much safer to say more grounded against someone like Lucario. Lucario does really well, especially Ruby's Lucario. It does very well at catching your air, catching you in the air and juggling you for so long. Whereas, of course, Melly does have the humongous wow. up there. Wow. It's the, it's the blast zone, the top blast zone. It just feeds so well into Belmont's up there. Yeah, and I definitely agree with what you were saying about uh, trying to keep the grounded game against Lucario because as we've seen before, you know, we've we've seen Vivi's aura sphere pressure has been so strong in the past, and I feel like if you try and, you know, remove the variable of trying to jump over or go under the extremely large aura sphere, uh, then the match might be a the matchup might be a little less stressful in that circumstance. I agree. And I was mostly mentioning that because of that upbeat punish we almost saw again uh, in this game as well. Same more ground. Oh, that came out. What? Double team's bad, oh, I guess. Bye. Yeah, you're super dead. And you're, you are. You're blue, the blue is of death, straight up. Okay. Getting a nice phantom footstool. Melly getting some space for it. Nice use of the Aura Sphere to catch Melly's landing right there. Now VD off stage again. The cross boomerang actually covered that angle. That's insane. I told you that cross boomerang covers extra uh, exchange speed so well. Because you get more than likely when that would just go right past the ledge and go right to the middle of the stage in order to really fake out any any kind of uh, uh, option for his opponent. Oh, but now Melly is sitting in kill percentages if he's not able to find VD stock and quick. Again. Guys, think more grounded against someone like Lucario. These aerial moves that you're doing is so scary. Oh, Quill got a really good kill throw. And you're getting countered instead with double team. Yep, caught Melly pressing buttons when he shouldn't have been. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't think Melly was ready. Uh, Vivi was like right on top of Melly, so it was really ambiguous as to which side he'd be on. He went kill percentage. Oh, he Melly is finally sitting on the platform. Yeet. I'm surprised that, uh, that, they could, that the throw didn't actually kill. Yeah, I think at ledge it absolutely would have. But living to 190 now. This is so scary for Melly right now. I He really needs to take the stock ASAP. He's probably one good hit or two stray hits away from death. Trying to wall things out with the, uh, the holy water. Trying to just catch BB jumping with the forward airs. Oh, oh no, you're super dead. Once you see that first one connect, I I, I pretty much know. Yeah, no, oh, is yeah, so down. good at the uh, like laddering the aura charge. That pressure is so intense. Here it is. Knowing it, look how big it gets too on the ledge. It mm -hmm. just charges so much. You're gonna jump up and you're just gonna get back here so it, hard. It covers so much space. Look at this. So yeah, much. Yeah, and it was space. such a, a good uh, placement there by VV too because you saw he turned around uh, and used the aura sphere there to cover the spot dodge, whereas you know. If um, if Melly had rolled in, then he's just gonna get shot by the Aura Sphere. So finally getting a taste of his own best chatting medicine. <laughs> That's we take true. Those. We take those. 